this came out a few days ago. I originally wasn't going to make a video about it because, like, uh, I was I was busy over the weekend and, like, uh, I thought it had passed by now. But it seems to be, like, still making rounds around the um, internet. And it's I feel like it's kind of, like, hit the point where it's just, like, it's it's kind of, like, at least done now for now between these two. So this is the whole, um, you know, if you haven't read the title of this video and you just clicked on it because it has Mr. Beast's head in it. This is obviously going to be talking about the whole Mr. Beast and how, how do you say her name? Rosanna Pensino? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I probably fucking butchered it. No, I'm my dumb ass. Um, but that's, uh, that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you know, that whole entire saga uh, of them where, you know, Ros Rosanna came out and accused Mr. Beast of lying in his videos and all that shit. So... To start off with, uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna like go through everything and then give my like thoughts and opinions about it, and then like I want to know what everyone else in the comments thinks about this whole situation as well, because a lot of people seem to be like kind of like on the fence about it, or like it, it, well not on the fence, I'd say like really one side, like there's either one side here or one side there. Um, so how many days ago? So it was like what four, five days ago, something like that. So it's only it hasn't even been a week yet of this whole entire thing like really coming out. Rosanna um, Pensino came out with a post. I, I think she posted it on her Instagram and then also Twitter as well. Um, and just to let you know, all this has been taken down. So I had to like find this stuff from like all different articles or just go on Google Images and search up like exactly just to try and get all the evidence for this. So she came out, she put this this statement up and I'm putting it on the screen now of coming out where she said that Mr. Beast lied and edited her out of her being in the top three in the Creator Games 3. Now, Mr. Beast had like this whole thing Back in 2021, and just ever since this is this is like almost two years ago going back. We're we're going back almost two years ago. So to me, it's just like she did take her fucking time um, coming out about this. I don't know why she hasn't. I, at least I haven't seen. Like I said, I've tried to like garner as much stuff of like why she took so long. She doesn't really exactly state why she's taken this long to finally come out with everything, but. What it was is that, you know, she placed third, supposedly she said that she placed third in the competition and Quackity was the one who placed second, but apparently in the final edit of the video, it was actually um, shown to everyone that it was Larry and Logan Paul who came third and second and obviously Zach King, he came first, um, so, you know, they can't edit him out of coming first anyways. So really it was just, you know, apparently Mr. Beast edited, changed the second and third placings and she came out and basically accused mr beast of lying which is is pretty is i don't know it, it is a bit hefty but yet again it's not i'm gonna give my opinions in a second i want to go i'm gonna go go over every everything first you know and then not long after that i'm not sure the exact timeline of it she did come out with another tweet saying that you know apparently there was a lot of people supporting her as well and, and then one thing that she did do as well is that Mr. Beast actually reached out to her first trying to get her number and I'll post that the screenshots of it because she did post this stuff um, online as well and on Twitter, which I have to admit, like, yeah, it's, it's it, as much as like, I'm very much, if you have a problem with someone, yeah, do it in private, but, you know, coming out and saying that this person lied on the internet and, and putting it on Twitter is fine, but the thing where I think it's crossing the line a bit is when you do screenshot private messages between two people. And, you know, he was trying to reach out to her and say, like, let's talk about this. Let's have a phone call together. And she was just saying, I can't believe you lied. Blah, blah, blah. Just kind of, you know, re reiterating her statements that she put, you know, like, I, I feel betrayed. Can't believe that you've done this and all that kind of stuff. And he's just like, listen, I, I know. Let's just talk it over. And then not long after, uh, probably not long after that, maybe like a day after that, she came out and made another tweet saying that, you know, she's actually now apologizing to Mr. Beast and saying that she should have expressed her feelings privately, handled it differently, and that she's actually removed every single one of her posts about uh, Mr. Beast and this whole entire situation from her Twitter page. And that she's also claiming that she's gotten thousands of death threats. Now, I don't know about the emphasis on thousands. I definitely think she's... Um, emphasizing that a little bit but it wouldn't surprise me to be honest if she did get um a, a fair few amount of death threats you know mr beast is an extra is uh the biggest creator on youtube you know the biggest single creator you know i think t-series still has more subs but if you're talking about like just the one like a single content creator and not an entity because t-series is more like a, a fucking entity but 
the he is by far the biggest content creator on YouTube, and you could probably say the biggest content creator on the internet altogether. So you know he's going to have a lot of hardcore fans, and even if you know he is somewhat in the wrong with this. You know, there are people who are going to come to his defense. And if you're calling out Mr. Beast and you're going against him, of course, there's people who are going to come out and bash you. Now, am I saying that it's right? No, of course not. I don't think that no matter what, um, death threats aren't, you know, especially in this situation, a death threat is it is just immature as fuck. No one, especially in this situation, deserves to have a death threat go against them. That, that to me, is immature. And you know what? The people who are probably, you know, giving those death threats to Rosanna, Pensino are probably, you know, like people that are like early teenagers, I'd be guessing. I, I couldn't imagine an adult. And But yet again, it wouldn't surprise me if an adult did have to, like, you know, send someone a death threat because they probably do it all the fucking time. But majority of them, you know, uh, Mr. Beast does have a very young audience. A lot of them are in their teens, you know, early teens. So it wouldn't surprise me if those are the ones who were sending her um, these death threats. Now, that's just kind of, you know, uh, the, the, over, the overarching story. You know, there's not really a lot to it in terms of like what really happened and what she accused him of it's not like it's you know this massive thing where it's just you know when i was going over that whole fucking tech tone and soul thing where it's just like been going on for fucking years and there's like so many different layers so many different videos so many different clips to it but it, it is it is kind of you know somewhat of a big hefty you know saying that someone lied and took you out now me personally, you know, I, I haven't been making content on YouTube for that long. Well, I, I, I haven't, I haven't, you know, I, I have, this is my third time trying out on YouTube in terms of making a, a YouTube channel. I tried, I, I made a couple, a few videos when I was 18, was it 18? No, 17. And then I, I, I for like a couple months and I stopped and then I had another channel where I was doing more gaming stuff, um, just like just purely gaming. And then I was just like, you know, on this side, but I, I haven't made content, you know, all that consistently, but I had, have definitely been around on YouTube in terms of being um, a watcher, uh, like, uh, you know, a fan of, of people on YouTube. And I've watched so many different creators throughout the years, been fans of so many different creators, both big creators, small creators. I've seen creators grow as well over the years. You know, I, I've, I still watch, you know, I've, I've, I literally, my first YouTube channel was Yogg's Cast back in the day when I was in like, Fuck, like 2012 or some shit like that. So I've been on YouTube for a fucking long time. And one thing that doesn't surprise me, it does not surprise me that it's coming out that Mr. Beast has faked, has somewhat faked his content. That does not surprise me at all. I am not shocked, not one bit, that if some elements of his videos are fake, there is so much content on this website and so much of the content is faked, especially for the type of content that Mr. Beast makes. Now, I'm not coming out and saying that every single little bit of his videos, every single video that he makes and every element of his videos are fake. There's just, there's just no way. I could not see him faking every single one of his videos. And he's definitely got some controversy in the past, especially like that whole, um, it was a hundred versus a hundred, um, thing where he got like 100 randoms to fight off and apparently like the conditions were pretty bad and some of his staff were actually in the 100 as well so it, it doesn't surprise me that you know he somewhat faked his content because like i said th there's been so many people over the years who have done the exact same especially a, lo a lot of the especially the content that he makes you know the people where they're trying to like you know go to the next level and shock their their um their fans and do all this like irl scripted type of content 100 percent it's fake it does not surprise me now, I can see why she's a little bit mad. Um, one thing that I think she she kind of like, you know, I think she went a bit too far in it saying like, oh, she's he's disrespected me a lot. It's just like, you know what? If she, he had like, you know, bumped her from third and apparently she went down the fourth and she had, because of that, she didn't get any money. Then yeah, I could be like, you know what? Third place would have gotten like 20, like $200,000. and because Mr. Beast faked it and actually put her fourth, she didn't get that money. But there was no money in second or third, fourth, fifth or sixth. There was no money. The only money was whoever came first, which was Zach King, which is why he was not like removed from first, why they couldn't edit it out. Now, maybe the reason why, and I I'm just trying to play like a bit of devil devil's advocate here. Like I said, I can understand where she's coming from you know, and that she would be somewhat annoyed at the same time, I'm wondering why she did take this long to come out with anything. If I have missed something and like she did state the exact reason why. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe there was like an editing reason why. 
that they edited her edited her to like fourth and wanted to change logan paul maybe it just suited the vi video's flow better you know especially now that she's come out and she's apologized to mr beast so i could definitely see that you know they definitely got in contact and mr beast would have talked to her said that listen this is the reason why we didn't want to we didn't mean to discredit you in any way possible we didn't want to mean to dis demoralize you in any way that was not like our intent to do that we just you know thought that it suited the video better there's no loss you didn't lose any money for it you know zach king is the one who came first so we didn't want to change him from coming first because you know he actually won the whole entire competition so they couldn't edit him out of that so yeah i i just i, I it's it is a big deal but it's not at the same time because like i said it, this doesn't surprise me it, wow mr beast fakes some of his content no fucking shit bro so, so many content creators fake their content. So fucking many. I bet one of your favorite content creators, 100%, there is no doubt would fake his content, especially for like massive content creators. They 100% would fake their content. Does not surprise me. Not one bit. Not at all. Yeah. Like I said, it's, I can see why she's mad, but she didn't lose out on any money. So big shit. Like I wouldn't care, but that's just me. Like, I'm someone who doesn't really give a fuck. I, I couldn't care less. Honestly, like, if if I had to say that, oh, uh, yeah, I actually came third and I saw in the video that's what I thought about, ah, like, ah, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, I didn't lose any money. Like, if someone had, you know, I lost money because of it, then yeah, get mad. I understand, but I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Like I said, I, I understand from both, both point of views. Like, I can understand why she's a little bit annoyed, but at the same time, like, big shit. But one thing, she did not deserve death threats. No one fucking deserves death threats. Uh, that, 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 that to me is too far. You know, if that's Mr. Beast's community coming out and giving her death threats, that's just bullshit. Uh, absolutely fucking bullshit. They're not real fans of Mr. Beast because, you know, he, he would not like that kind of shit. But yeah, and he hasn't even come out with a statement himself about this. And, and I seriously doubt that he will. He doesn't really, you know, when he's been accused of faking content, you know, and that whole hundred people... Um, whatever the, that fucking controversy that he had as well. He didn't come out and talk about that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't see him making a statement about this. I don't see him bothering. He, you know, probably just wanted to keep it like a more of a private thing with her and that's about it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's it for me. Peace out.